to do. Okay, here's another one here, right? We have a sphere. Do you remember how many um, how many cuts you had on your sphere? Oh, like you did like three divisions, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, there's four pieces of cuts. Cool. Okay, sweet. All right. So we're going to come in here with this. Press one. So let's duplicate it so we can remember our steps. Okay. Shift D. I'm going to press uh, G and then X. Let's see. Okay. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to press uh, one to get into the view. I'm going to press control one to get into the other side right there. Okay. I have this. So now what I want to do is go into x-ray mode, x-ray mode, I'll say, and something's happening here. Qu'est-ce qui se passe alors? There we go. Took a while. Hmm. There's some lag going on here. Oh, it's because in the background. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> Get that out of here. Get that garbage. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to come in here, and I'm just going to delete uh, faces, okay? I'm going to get into tab mode. I'm going to say right here, let's go to face, which is three. I'll put these guys on here. Okay, here. Okay, so I'm going to delete these faces here, like that. Because I believe you have three cuts. Delete faces. You can come over here. So we'll just do one. Let's just do two for now. Three here. Let's cut another one here. Bye bye faces. And I'll do another one over here. Whatever, something like that delete and then I just pressing delete okay so I've got this okay all right that's what I have so let's get out of this mode loop cuts oh dude okay here so let's see let's say I'm in here right right click uh, let's see there's something about dissolve edges maybe uh, let's see what else do we have mark sharp clear clear seam nope or let me just try to yeah how's that sweet eh <laughs> way to go blender okay Varsha, did you get this far on yours okay so watch right here I'm gonna select this loop right and you're gonna right click don't fall for the trap of fill which is what I usually do if I was in another app right Okay, it's the other one. There's two of them. New face from edges makes it better. See, right there. The other thing I wanted you to do is, okay, so that was cool, right? So let me just do it up here just quickly. Same thing, right? Here, right click, right there. Remembers, boom, sweetly done. Okay, nice. So watch what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna go to face, okay? Uh, right here. Now, remember that inset right here? Inset face, this is cool, look push in oh my god look how sweet that is okay all right so let's say it's something like this and somewhere in the middle you had another object coming through right so what you want to do now is delete that face in the middle okay but get out of inset bye bye press delete Oop, faces see there next what you could do is there's a couple you can come in here and grab the edges again okay where am i i gotta press two option left click now i'm gonna extrude straight down just to give that edge okay so e and then i i may have to press uh, z just to keep it like that look how nice that is right you can come all the way down if you want <laughs> right <coughs> pardon me all right all right so that's that part's kind of cool compared to this right this to me it's okay but I like you to kind of have it's not it's not clean topography okay so if I just press inset again so just as a and then press inwards there we go and then you could do it again and again it's really cool and you could do a lot of cool stuff in here okay and leave it okay so this part is nice see how cool that is let me repeat over here now get out of this again go to edges on this side okay I'm gonna show you two methods okay so here we're gonna go to right click boom from faces excellent then we go into inset because, uh, well, let's see. Can I do it with edges? Oh, yeah, you can. This, is this app is insane. Look at that, right? And then you just go bye-bye and delete faces. Gone. Okay, so that's one. Okay, so what I always do is I duplicate these as many times as possible because I, I like to kind of, you know, you never know. I might need a piece, right? So if I press Shift D, duplicate, and let's say on the X, slide. Cool. So now watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go into uh, orthographic view, one view, 
control one. Here it is. I'm going to now separate these pieces, but I can't do it until I go into x-ray mode. See that? In x-ray mode, right? So what I'm going to do now is go into tab mode, faces. I'm going to select these guys, and I'm going to right-click, separate. See here? By selection. Boom. Now, if I click out, tab out, this is its own piece. Isn't that nice? So what you could do is if you make a mistake, you duplicate these and you move them around, you change it up. It's, it's really awesome, right? So let, let's say for here, you want to get rid of the middle, you want to have an opening, whatever you want, you could do it. But this way, you can even, like, do you remember how I had this before? Here? Okay, watch this now. Control 1 again. Watch what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take this, I'm going to duplicate again, Shift D. Where's my Shift? Shift D, and let's get X. Just slid this in here, okay? So there it is. What if I go S for scale, 0.5? S, I'm just making this up. Okay, and then you have a light source that goes inside here. You get what I mean? Or what you could do is say, oh, wait a minute, Balian. I'm going to take this, these pieces that I, remember how I deleted it before? But what if you saved them? Watch this, right? Go to X-ray again. You're in X-ray mode here. And then press tab. Cool. I'm in x-ray. Double check. Good. Face. So I'm going to borrow these ones, for example. See that? I got those, right? What if I click separate now? Nice, right? What if I want that to be my glass that glows, for example, right? So tab out. Grab this piece here. Right click. Set the origin. Here, now it's easy to move around, see? So now here, I can make this material, for example, uh, watch this, I can come in here and press new, uh, and why, why, what's, what's, uh, I don't know what the holdup is today. I got a lot of things going on in the background, I think. Okay, let's say glass, so for example, glass, right? See that? I'm gonna go in here with some kind of a blue. There's the blue right there. Here, and I'm gonna make it super bright, something like that, okay? There. So now if I change this into this mode, see what I mean? Yeah, and then I can take this. What if I say, I don't know, let me try scale, for example. Just scale it a little bit out or something. Okay? Now watch this next thing I'm going to do. Okay, so far so cool, right? No big deal, right? There's another way to make this thicker other than extrude. Watch this part here. Let's go to the wrench. Solidify. What? Watch this. It's point, right now, it's point zero 0.01. Do you see that? I just made your glass thick. What if I change this to point 0.5? But you know what I mean? It's the same thing as you extruding, but it's kind of cool, right? Yeah, but this is the beauty of designers, right? We go in, we kind of get into the details in the trenches afterwards because we have an idea. Let's go outwards, inwards, and now you make variations of it, and then you decide which one you like most. And you go with that, right? Cool? Mm -hmm. My pleasure. All right.